March is Endometriosis Awareness Month, so we're here at the Institute for Women's Health where they want to make sure that you know exactly what endometriosis is, what some of the common signs and symptoms are, and how you can get treatment with the help of the wonderful team here. Endometriosis is a condition we find in young women in the reproductive age group. Normally the uterus has a lining that's meant to bleed every month. So if that lining is present outside the uterus, it's called endometriosis. As you can imagine, when that lining bleeds outside the uterus, that tissue doesn't have anywhere for the blood to go. Uh, it accumulates over there, causes pain. Endometriosis affects many women, and it's often challenging to diagnose. A lot of times we don't really know if what we're feeling is in fact endometriosis. Some of the signs and symptoms can range from pelvic pain all the way to problems with infertility. So it's really important to listen to your body and look out for some of the common signs. The commonest symptom we encounter is actually pelvic pain, right? So like I said, that blood has nowhere to go. Uh, it accumulates over there, so women often come in complaining of pain, which tends to be worse during their periods. Often they have pain associated with sex. Another common finding we uh, notice is women come in with infertility, and when we do their workup, we realize they have uh, endometriosis. Uh, the third commonest uh, presentation is actually an ovarian cyst. So women will come in complaining of some sort of fullness. We do an ultrasound or imaging, we find an ovarian cyst, it ends up being endometriosis. But to actually confirm the diagnosis of endometriosis, the gold standard is surgery. Uh, so we do laparoscopy where we make a small cut in the belly button, we go in with a camera and we take a look around. So it's visual confirmation of en presence of endometriosis. Um, however, of course, that's not appropriate for every candidate. So we do have the option to do trial of medical management to see if patients get better and therefore make a presumed diagnosis of endometriosis. So if you've been diagnosed with endometriosis, good news is that there's several treatment options available to you depending on what symptoms you're feeling. We do have options for management of endometriosis. Our options are we can do medication or we can do surgical management. Um, we do cater our management depending on where the patient is in their life. Um, are they done having children? What their age is? What they expect for the future? The Institute for Women's Health has got you covered for all your gynecological needs. And if you're suffering from some of those signs and symptoms of endometriosis, it's important that you contact the wonderful team here. And since March is Endometriosis Awareness Month, we want you to tell all those fabulous females in your life all about it.